Can you tell me a little bit about how the program got started? And um, actually, a local resident, Billy Wooten, um, bought a 200 and, I don't know, 20, 30 year old house and moved it and reassembled it. And he needed some craftsmen to help him finish restoring it. Couldn't find any. There just aren't enough tradespeople left around here. Um, he went to Dr. Lamb and said, why don't we offer some classes in plaster work and in carpentry and in restoration work? And he said, there's just not enough people to do the masonry and do the old skills that we need for these old houses. In Eastern North Carolina, there's hundreds of these houses. And Tarboro, in fact, has a large historic district of probably two or 300 downtown that are over 100, 150 years old that need people to work on them. And modern construction people don't know how to work on historic buildings. Um, we got a grant from Golden Leaf and we started off with weekend classes and we actually graduated a group of continuing education people who came every weekend for about eight months to take classes. And then we graduated at least a class every year since 2012. 2012 was our first class because we started curriculum programs in 2010 in our two-year degree, so since 2012 we've graduated some students every year. So. Um, we had the house moved here. I was aware of the house's existence from when it used to be across the road, and I knew we needed a structure for the students to learn on, and so I asked for the house back. Um, I felt like it didn't belong over on the other side of the county where it was empty, not being used. Uh, and it had actually been damaged in Hurricane Floyd because it got moved before the hurricane. So in 2009, we asked for it back and it moved here. It took a day and a half to move it and we got it back and we had to gut the house um, and basically rebuild parts of it. So um, this room had had the plaster removed and drywall put in and we ripped out the drywall and went back to plaster. And so the students learned how to do uh, the various stages of construction, reconstruction, restoration, preservation, all of the terms. Most all the restoration work has been in here has been done by students in the program. Um, so all the woodwork in here, the floors are original, but all the woodwork is done by students. This is plaster work that's done by students. Um, and we are teaching um, the only program in North Carolina that teaches actual preservation of historic buildings. Hmm. So how to repair and restore old buildings like this. So our students are going all over and they're all working in fields that they how are related to this. So they very much enjoy the preservation work. I feel good about that too.